So now that I have the device connected, let's add some personnel. Let's say you don't have them in front of you. You want to add personnel and you want to do it from your computer. So let's do this. Um, we go to user management. So here I've made these two person, you know, these two profiles. It's both me. But let's say I want to make a new one, right? I'm gonna hit the add button. Make sure it's focus. For the name, I'm going to use my boss's name. I'm gonna put Taff. Taff. His user ID is gonna be 002. I don't have a picture of him. I can still create a profile without a picture, but you will want to have a picture of you, the employee you're using so that the kiosk can recognize them when they scan themselves. But let's press save. You can press save or save and add more. In this case, I'm just gonna press save. I have tab already here. you see it flashing blue. Now, from here, there's no button to really synchronize it, right? And also there's a button up here that says import file. You can import uh, if you have some kind of file that has uh, your employee information, you can import it here. But to, to synchronize it, what you want to do is go to the management and you created your user account. You're going to use, you can go to um, device user management and put user edit, click on this. Oh, so select the device first, user edit, and you're going to select the profiles that you want to transfer over to the machine and hit fully synchronize, right? So now if we go over to the tablet, let's go into our settings. Personnel management. Now you see the two profiles, Taff and me. Moving on. All right, so here in healthcare, there's a temperature report. It'll give you the temperature of every single log in here. I have about 10 pages. I don't know if you can see every single log. And then I'll tell you the device that it came from because you can sync multiple devices to your platform if they're on your network. Um, I'll give you the name if you have a department for that person. And um, hold on. The name, the temperature, the picture, the car ID, if they have an ID number, the date, right? And then here in this last little column right here in the top, you can actually show how much information you want before you export. So this, I don't want to show the department because it's not necessary. Now on that, it's gone. Maybe the ID picture is good. I don't want to show the device because I only have one, so I don't need that. Now, so now you're condensing your information to the important stuff. And then once you have done that, you can export the, um, the Excel, including a picture, export all, not including picture, export and filter, and then Excel export and filter, not including picture. So let's just do a basic one here. Let's export all. The new file comes up. Sorry about that. Let's move this to the screen. And now you see here the temperatures, and the readings, the person, you know, the picture. That's that. Now, if there were any, if there was anybody that was over temperature or it was abnormal, high or low, here you would be able to see it. It will keep a record separately so you can export it as well. And then your temperature settings here, which you can do from the device as well, from the kiosk. But you can also do it from the from the platform. So one more thing I want to show is how to create a department and how to add the department to the user or the user to the department, but whichever way you want to see it. So on the left side, you see the department structure. Let's click that. We're going to add and let's name it um, 
receiving. What's the type of this department? I'm just gonna put a company or department, but that's gonna be the department here. No paramour and order order one hundred. That's like how many rights this person has. So the role. So the basic one is one hundred. Now you see every, every time you do a new thing, it'll flash blue, tell you that it's new and it you know call your attention. But once that's done, let's go to the user management. And let's click me for example. And on the right side, we're going to put edit, click edit. And the bottom side here, you're going to type the department I belong to. So receiving. So let's select that. Save. And now I'm in the department of receiving. Uh, you have a user ID power here. But there's the, the main idea. Let's see. There we go. Now I'm in the receiving department, as you can see here. And that's that. For any other questions, you know where to go. MagicOneCompany.com or call me at 877-926-3748, extension 204. Or you can ask for Franklin or Taff, and we'll be more than glad to help you. Thank you.